not come here. No, no, no. <laughs> My wheel's about to fall off. A little bit of a slight problem. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. We are doing a cooking school today. I think we're going to a couple of the markets to get our produce that we're gonna be cooking with. Also going on a, one of the round- Coconut boats? Yeah, one of the round coconut yeah. boats to catch our own crab. Our tour guide should be here any minute to pick us up. down to one of the local markets to grab all the fresh fruit, veg and meat for the traditional dishes that we'll be cooking on our food tour today. Apparently this smells like fish and no one likes it. It's called fish mint. It smells like lemon to me or orange. The shrimp fresh one. But you can see, you can look through, that's like a crab. If you don't like things that are dead or like half alive, do not come here. just about to go down the river on a coconut boat to catch some crabs. So we are out here catching crabs. Trying to catch crabs. Never thought I'd say that. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be starving. They like suction onto the trees. So like they'll jump onto the chicken and then they'll constrict it, but then you gotta ply them off the actual tree itself. So it's, ha it's harder than it looks for us, anyway. Mm. Go, go, go. Have I got it? Go. Oh! Yeah. the cooking class today by preparing the fur as it does take a few hours for the flavors to infuse and develop. You can see here I'm frying off the spices before adding them to the broth. So we are actually making the rice paper rolls ourselves from scratch. Here you can see the process of us turning the raw rice into the batter that we then steam and turn into the rice paper rolls. That's good, Mac. Quick. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's my thing. the sweet and sour fish sauce and we're about to make the rice fresh, paper rolls. fresh rice paper rolls now. And do we eat the first one? Alright. Taste test on the before. I'd pay for this. Next up we're getting started on the banjiao. This is also a rice flour batter mixed with some green onions. After adding some pork and bean shoots, we let it fry for a few minutes, then folded it over and repeated the process. This looks delicious! And here we have the tomato sauce for our charred grilled aubergines. After caramelizing the ingredients down, adding a little bit of fire, the sauce is ready. After a quick fry off of the shrimp, we had everything we needed to put together the banana leaf salad. 
After two hours, the broth for the fat was ready and it smells amazing. We love coriander. Finally finished cooking. It's been about five hours and I am starving. Starving, I'm excited to eat. First impressions of the fur. It tastes as good as any other fur we've had. We could customize the herbs. So I loaded in coriander, as you can see. I might like this one better. Next we've got the banana flower salad. So it's the banana flower fruit or vegetable, herbs, shrimp as well. There's sesame seeds, fish sauce that we made earlier on. Why are we not chefs? <laughs> like, that's amazing. What have we got there? This is the charcoal roasted aubergine with a sort of a tomato sauce. Aubergine is really smoky. Sauce is really caramelized, sweet. Spicy? Not at all. So next up we have the crispy rice pancake. There's a bit of a process to making this one. You have to open up the pancake, fill it full of the fresh herbs, and I think we've got a bit of lettuce and stuff there. And then you get a, another rice paper roll, and you fold it over and sort of roll it back up to make a, a crispy rice paper roll. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try it out. It was fantastic. Mm. I cannot stress how much of a good time we had. And we're so full. We're so full. Restaurant quality food. Yeah. It was. It was. And, and we made it. Yeah, we made it. So <laughs> weird. But it was. Yeah. It was fantastic. So yeah. it went for about five hours, which was the perfect amount of time, I think. Highly, highly recommend we coming do. to do it. Excellent. Awesome. Hi. We are on our way to Ang, Ang, Ang Bang Beach. Ang Bang Beach. Once you actually get out of the ancient town, it is so beautiful and peaceful and serene. There's no one else out here. Occasionally we passed a few motorbikes. We're on bicycles, so it's going to take a little bit longer. But it's it's really enjoyable going through the um, through the rice fields and seeing the locals harvesting their crops. You do have to look out for those. We have had to run over a few of them, which it seems pretty normal. All the locals seem to be doing that, yeah. just because it's completely covering the path. This is our first stop. We are off to another area where they grow the fruit and veg for the city. Yum, yum, yum. majority of all the leafy green vegetables come from for the surrounding area so if you enjoy that delicious cow lao, this is where all those leafy greens are coming from slight problem, my bike tire just exploded. So coincidentally there was a bicycle repair shop. That was crazy! Right where the tire exploded. I don't know how that was just so perfectly timed. We're so lucky. What are the odds us cycling for about an hour and a half? We're about to get run over. And yeah. then the last the last like 10 meters of getting to the beach. Higher pops, and then across the road, there's a bike repair shop. But instead of paying for bike parking at the <laughs> beach, we're now paying for a exploded tire. Here's the beach, we'll give you a look. Beach. 
and we've just come to one of the little, I guess, restaurants, cafes. We're on the sunbeds. They, the sunbeds are free to use. You just need to buy like a drink or something to eat, which is fine because we are starving. I was after starving. That ride. Yeah, we've just ordered a banh mi each, a pork banh mi, and a Vietnamese coconut coffee. Here comes our food. Thank you. Only about 5k's from the ancient town but we went on a few little detour adventures but yeah this is beautiful Ben meats were good coconut coffee was good Xin Chow. So we've spent about three, four hours here at An Bang Beach. Yeah, it's so beautiful compared to Da Nang, which is where we were before, which shares the same coastline, only a couple, maybe 20 kilometers. This is completely different, like completely different. It just has that beach shack sort of vibe to it. Lots yeah. of little beach bars, restaurants. Yeah, some of them are really bougie. Big swimming pools in the middle of these beach bars. Yeah. Um, they've got all the lounges out the front along the sand, which are free. You've just got to buy something in the restaurant. I and mean, the restaurant we went to was actually really reasonably, reasonably priced. priced. Yeah, it was. So, yeah. uh, what did we pay? It was about 40000 for a band me and yep. 20 Oh, sorry, we got a coffee. So 45 for the coffee. Yeah, it was about $6.50 for both of us to have a band me and a coffee each. So I thought that was pretty good. So we're just on our way to pick up my bike after the tire exploded. Hopefully it's ready to go. They've had it for a couple of hours now. We didn't ask how much it was going to cost. So hopefully it's not going to be more than 150. Yes, always find out or negotiate the price before anything.